And what is interesting is that, in fact, um, I find in the work we are doing at Thrive with companies and individuals that when they can focus inward to refresh and renew and replenish themselves, they have more to give outward. When you are depleted, uh, you are much more likely to move into fight or flight or just survival. Um, but when you are recharged, you have that energy to give from your uh, overflow. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I think, Ariana, for me, it's really like 11 o'clock, it kicks in where I have the fight or flight. I'm like, oh my God, I, I have so much more to do, but I need to rest. It's time for me to go to bed. I have to thrive. I have to put my phone in its little bed, right, Ariana? And then at the same time, I'm like, Angela Duckworth, grit, be grittier. I have to solve things. I want other people to wake up in the morning and have answers to their emails. I've got to dig down and find my inner reserve to try a little harder. So it's this weird for me tension of trying to find both. So I don't know, Ariana, if there's anything that you could say to us at 11 o'clock, how do we shut down that, that inner tension those two between the two of you? My well, two little voices on my shoulder. <laughs> actually, I really believe that we are saying the same thing because we have so much science now and so much data that makes it clear as athletes know, recovery is part of peak performance. Um, if we want to be our best, especially in times of crisis, if we want to be our most creative and most innovative, we can't do it while we are running on empty. And um, I studied economics and the one thing that has stayed with me is the concept of diminishing returns. Spending endless hours at your desk or your kitchen table doesn't mean you're being effective and productive. And we have some amazing new research out of Yale that shows that when you are stressed and anxious, that's when you are least productive. Almost your prefrontal cortex shuts down and you move into that fight or flight. So at 11 o'clock, uh, Daisy Red, darling, um, turn your phone off put it in its little bed outside your room. I like to have a little transition to sleep, a hot shower to wash away the day, reading a book that has nothing to do with work, just kind of preparing ourselves to be able to disconnect from all our problems and projects and recharge. 